light bleaching. This is something that I used to get all the time when LEDs first came out. And surprisingly, I actually just got one in a uh, tent that I have right here. Light bleaching when the, the, there's so much light that the tips of the buds turn white. What is the cause of that? Is it too much far red? I believe that's what you had mentioned one time in the past. And the buds that turn white, are they less potent? Yep, good question. We first saw this a long time ago, um, more than 10 years ago. Um, it's, by the way, it's not caused by far red. It is caused by red light, which is okay. about, the, the peak of that is about 660. We can see that color really well. Far red is 730 nanometers, and we, 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 our eyes can't see that nearly as well. But it's caused by red light. So 10 or 12 years ago, we thought it was just plain too much light. And that's why we started saying this word photo bleaching. Um, but it turns out the term is not very accurate. And it is not caused by total light. Um, let me talk about the term first. Photo bleaching suggests that the, the cells started green and something happened and they bleached, so they turned white. But now we know those cells, in, these little tiny cells in the meristem, never start out green. They were, they're white right from the beginning. If you get in there with a microscope, these are cells that are just white and they're not yellow. That would mean they have carotenoids. They're white. They don't have carotenoids. They don't have anthocyanins. They don't have chlorophyll. Wow. This is really unusual. We now know that this is associated with the daily light integral of red photons. So it's not the fraction of red per se. It's the a high fraction of red multiplied by high intensity of light. So if you want to avoid white tips, you could use just white LEDs, no red LEDs, just white, and turn the lights way up and you won't see white tips. So that proves that it's not intensity per se. Um, it's it's the fraction of red. If you had a light that was 20% white and 80% red, if you had a low intensity, you would not get white tips. But if you use that light and a high intensity, you're going to have white tips everywhere. So to try to summarize this, it's the fraction of red multiplied by the intensity. And so the term we've used for this is the daily light integral of red photons. You just add them up through the day. Um, and so interesting because I mean, this is one of those things where I think if we figured this out, you'd be candidate for a Nobel Prize because my colleagues and I have said, what is going on here? What's the mechanism by which Tiny cells in the meristem suddenly stop making chlorophyll and they stop making any pigments at all. We've never seen that in another species in, in the same way. Uh, we don't know the, the mechanism. And if I could talk some, maybe I'd call up Bill Gates and say, this is an important problem. Could you send a couple million dollars so we could study this? And, <laughs> Maybe I could get somebody like him interested, and then we'd get on it and we'd figure it out. Meanwhile, it's a fascinating physiological phenomena. And then, of course, commercially, it's just striking. I mean, consumers see that. Here's the amazing thing. These plants are not making any pigments, but they still make cannabinoids. They still make THC. They still make CBD at the same rate as the green tissue. Whoa, what's the biochemistry of that? We don't understand it yet. Um, so you asked about potency. There's we, lots of studies. There's no change in, in potency. And of course, the joke is, well, let's get the marketing people on it and they can sell white tips as a premium. You know, maybe, <laughs> maybe, 
maybe they smoke better or something. I, but but it's a fascinating thing physiologically. Um, and for that reason, many lighting companies now don't put a lot of reds in their lights because they, they cause white tips. So they sell lights with mostly with 100% white LEDs. And then you can pour on the photon and not have white tips. That comes at the expense of electrical efficiency. Um, that's a, a parameter that we call micromoles of photons per joule of electricity. And it reduces that number because red LEDs are so efficient. But the white LEDs have steadily gotten more efficient and better. And now we can have fixtures that have white LEDs that are still really, really electrically efficient. Um, so it's a it's a fascinating thing physiologically, and it's an important issue culturally if you're um, trying to grow medical hemp uh, it, and and not have any white tips. I will say we do know there's genetic differences in the tendency to cause white tips. So this is an example of how some physiological environmental challenges can be solved with genetics. And once we get on this and we get, and Bill Gates gives us a few million for breeding or the federal government, we can select against it with genetics. I'm confident because you just hybridize ones that have it and ones that don't. But that hasn't, that's in the future. That hasn't happened yet. But the fact that there's genetic variability opens the door to genetic selection for it. So again, if really an interesting um, physiological question because we, we don't understand the mechanism. A related condition would be variegated plants that have white and green in their leaves. And there's a whole bunch of examples of that. Some of those cells are white, some are green. But this is not in meristems, this is in leaves. And, and that's a genetic mutation that causes variegated leaves. But that's, this is in the meristems, in develop, developing meristems. And this light does nothing to leaves. There's no, it doesn't cause any white leaves. It's only those tips. And it's only the tips, not, not the whole flower. And it happens before you see it. If you get in there with a microscope, it, those cells are turning white, be, and, and a week later they come out, and then you see them as white. So it's happening before you see it. So for that reason, I don't like to call this photo bleaching. I just I, sometimes I call it white tip syndrome. <laughs> that syndrome means we don't understand it. <laughs> It's there, but um, because they 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 didn't really bleach; they just never made pigments at all. This clip is brought to you by Vivo Sun. Use discount code Mister Grow fifteen to save on any of their gardening products. Go to the full episode by clicking the outro card here, or click the link in the description section below. Catch you in the next video.